Fly High for Fun production. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to another Fly High for Fun production. On today's video, I'd like to show you guys how to set up a switch to use for regenerative braking with your far driver controller. Let's go ahead and get started. But first we're gonna to have to figure out which one of these wires are gonna control the switch that we're, that we're gonna use. On this particular uh, connection, we wanna use a switch that doesn't press. Like see, I notice how this one is pressing. You can hear it click. We actually want one that we can press and it doesn't click. So this is gonna be the switch that we're gonna use. So unless you have a diagram for your switch, uh, in this case, I don't have it really available. Um, you're gonna have to find out which one of these wires are gonna be used for that particular switch. Um, and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my multimeter and I'm going to attach um, a line on the wires. Now I know exactly which wires these are, but I just wanted to do this to kind of show you there's another way that you can find out which one of your wires are, are the pair. Um, so again, I know which one of the wires are, so it's gonna be the brown and the yellow. So we're just gonna connect these alligator clips. Just to verify this, we're gonna turn the multimeter on conductivity, and then we're going to um, press the switch. So when we do that, our multimeter is going to give us a beep. Okay, so I, now we know that the two wires that we need to use in this setup is going to be the brown and the, and the yellow. All right, let's have a look at our wiring diagram from our controller. We're looking for the low brake wire. We're going to connect the switch to that. All right, so we have a yellow and green uh, low brake uh, wire, and then we have a black ground wire. So now we'll show you how to wire those two wires to the switch. All right, so on the left, you have our fire driver controller with our yellow and green wire and our black ground wire, and they're going to connect to our switch, which is on the right, which is our yellow wire, and then we have our brown. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm a king uh, at recycling stuff. Like, I need some wire here, and this is an old power inverter for my uh, computer that uh, went out on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest some fresh wire here. Uh, and then we're going to make a cord out of this wire. So let me give me a moment here to clip this wire off of this power, uh, this old power supply that I had. Clip these wires off, and then I'll, um, I'll make a wire uh, out of this wire. This is some pretty good wire to just let go west. So give me a second to do this, and then I'll show you guys how to put together the wire. All right, so I'm gonna need to make my wires long enough to be able to reach from the front of the bike to the back. So what we're gonna do is just take these two yellow wires and we're gonna strip them and then we're gonna attach them together. Okay, now let's go ahead and solder the wires onto the switch wires. Again, remember I told you those wires were yellow and brown. So we'll just go ahead and do the same thing just to solder the wires together. We'll do the yellow with the yellow and the black with the brown. All right, now that we have those wires soldered together, we'll go ahead and put some shrink wrap over those to protect them so they won't short out. And then we'll go ahead and slide another shrink wrap over both of the wires and we'll shrink wrap that area down. All right, now that we have those wires uh, soldered in and shrunk wrap, we'll go ahead and run this wire through the bike. 
back to the controller and we'll connect it there. All right, so let's quickly take the panel off, side panel off. All right, so we're gonna wanna run our wire down the center of the bike and then we're gonna come down, we're gonna drop down and we're gonna come in uh, into this area right here. There should be a hole in here and then we'll go in up and around the back and then we'll come to the controller that's located in the back. Okay, so that in order to get that wire in there, we're gonna have to take this, this one piece off, so. All right, so remember on the controller, our wire colors are yellow and green and black. So, Let's go ahead and find those pair of wires and then we're going to go ahead and solder the yellow and black wire that we just ran back here to our low brake connection. Okay, now that we have those wires soldered in, we'll go ahead and cover them up with shrink wrap. Okay, now that we have them covered up, we'll just go ahead and put some fire on that, shrink them down. All right, so that's our connection to our low brake switch. Now we're completed. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put the bike back together um, off camera. And then we'll come back to the application and we'll set it up in the far driver software showing you um, how it's going to work. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn on the power to your controller. And then we'll go ahead and look for the app, the Far Driver app, which is MotorNet. Okay, we'll we'll go ahead and go over here to uh, Com. We'll scan the BLE. We're looking for our Bluetooth uh, Wang Ku. We'll go ahead and hit connect. Now that we're connected. We'll go ahead and go to our first page. And um, you normally know you're connected because of that sign up on the upper right that said connected to controller, but you can also see on the lower left where you see your RCV frames. Um, starts moving so you know it's um, connected. So what we're doing now is we're, we're looking for the setting um, for regen. So, if I'm not mistaken, let me see if I can find it. I think it's follow. Yep, this is it. So, it's following EABS. So, we want to EABS enable. I think that's the correct setting. So, we'll go ahead and select that. And then now let's go to uh, let's go see if this is working. Okay, so this is how we can tell when we press the switch. All right, guys. So as we press this button in the software, what you should be seeing is a brown parking icon illuminating every time I press the button. That be in the middle of the screen. So that is how you connect the regenerative braking. So there you have it, guys. That's how we hooked up our regenerative braking switch. I just want to thank everyone for watching my video. Uh, please like, rate, subscribe. Uh, there'll be more videos to come. Thanks for watching.